In this video, we'll show you a few features, including images from cards. To create a new cards page, click Visual Editor. In this example, we'll use the first block from Covers. Click the desired block, select the image, and click the image icon, and choose an image from your computer. This is the new image background. You can also upload images using drag and drop. Just drag an image from your computer to your workspace. Click the color icon to change the color of an image or to remove it. To change the text on an image, click the Change Layout button and choose the desired position of the text. You can deactivate unused elements using these controls. In the next example, we'll use a block from the image list. Here you have other image features. Upload a new image and click the position icons to choose the position of an image in this block. For example, make it smaller. Also, you can change the background of this block. Click here for the background, and let's change the color, gradient, or you can upload another image to the background. Let's change the top and bottom padding of this block. Change the position and change the background one more time. Use the gradient function. You can see the number of useful features. All it takes is your imagination. Remove this block and we'll show you another example of how to use images. In this example, we'll use one block from the grid list. Upload an image to this block in the same way as before. Click the image icon and choose an image or drag and drop the image directly. It's so fast and easy. Want to add more? No problem. Click the plus icon and a new placeholder will appear. Drag and drop an image to the new place. Add a title and description. If you want to duplicate an image, just click the icon and the same image will appear after the previous image. Click the same icon one more time and a new image will appear. Another useful feature is to be able to change the number of columns. Click this icon and choose the desired number. Let's see how it looks with two columns. And now, with four columns. We'll add more images to the new places. You can see the background of this block. There are options for color, gradient colors, or, if you want, you can change the text color to be more readable. You can deactivate elements of this block as well. Let's try that for a few elements. Click the plus icon and add one more image. Change the padding for this block by clicking Change Padding and choose the desired padding. OK, looks good. You learned that images have many features, and you can change the images to look and fit in a way that you love. Just use your imagination and put the right image in the right place.